So now in summary, I'm going to go over all 12 organs uh, and uh, pathogens, so to speak, that uh, can influence these, uh, these channels. So when you see these types of things, you can associate them with a particular organ. And so you know what uh, meridian needs to be balanced out or what organ needs to be treated. For the bladder, uh, diseases of the top of the head, the back of the neck, uh, the sacral uh, region of the back and the lumbar region of the back, the back of the legs and uh, the outside of the ankle uh, all the way down to the uh, little toe. Any kind of diseases or, or problems uh, will be linked to, in these areas will be linked to the bladder channel. For the kidneys in general, uh, most any deteriorating disease that causes the whole body or portions of the body to deteriorate will be linked to the kidneys. Uh, also, uh, uh, lower extremity pain or weakness, uh, you know, legs, uh, low back can be uh, linked to the kidneys as well, along with uh, hot or heat sensations uh, on the insides or bottoms of the feet. For the gallbladder, uh, pain or discomfort in the upper right or left quadrants of the abdomen, uh, problems with uh, the sides of the head, uh, the eyes, the face, uh, or the ears, along with uh, diseases of the uh, external uh, left and right sides of the lower extremities. With the liver, uh, you could be looking at uh, pain or swelling in the hypochondrium uh, or some type of disease of the genitals. With the heart, you could be looking at uh, diseases that put pressure on the brain uh, or the, the head, uh, pressure on the eyes. It could also be, uh, of course, problems with the physical heart itself or problems with the lateral side of the chest. Mentally with the heart you could see things like insomnia, psychosis, uh, amnesia, just impairment of consciousness in general. With the small intestine you can see diseases affecting the the jaw, the upper extremities uh, of the, the ulnary nerve, well as the throat, face, and ears. With the stomach, uh, stomach meridian, you can see uh, diseases of the face, uh, the eyes, nose, uh, mouth, jaw, throat, uh, as far as the upper extremities go. But looking to the middle and lower portions, uh, pain in the, uh, the center of the chest, uh, the uh, abdominal area. Uh, you can also see diseases of the lower extremities and uh, lots of problems uh, that generally fall under psychiatric uh, evaluation. With the spleen, you can see diseases of the tongue, throat. Uh, you can also see problems with malabsorption uh, and diseases on the inside of the lower extremities, the medial side of the lower extremities, such as varicose veins and this type of thing. With the pericardium, you should see things like diseases of the heart, uh, the front portion of the chest, and problems with major blood vessels. If the pericardium function is impaired, you can also see mental abnormalities as well. With the triple heater, you can see diseases of the face, cheek, larynx, and the neck, as far as the upper extremities go. You can also see shoulder and, uh, and scapula problems as well uh, with the triple heater.